Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So I had a tree here and it was hanging over my peach trees and blocking light of my peach tree. So I wanted to take it down. However, I was afraid that it was gonna fall on my peach trees. And so my neighbor right next door, uh, he's a little more versed in this kind of stuff. His family owns a ranch nearby and he's used to doing this kind of stuff and he has the tools for it. So I saw him in passing yesterday and I was like, hey, uh, I just wanted to ask uh, if I could get your opinion on this and how I would take this down. He's like, yeah, I, I'm going over to the ranch right now anyway, so um, I'll bring back a chainsaw and we'll get it down. He had asked actually how I planned on getting it down. I was like, well, I got an ax. And he's like, no, 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 no. Uh, we'll do it right. And so, um, very nice of him. And so, as he left, um, I thought, you know, he was going to be coming back uh, later that evening and then my wife got chemical, she was cleaning the toilet and the Lysol toilet bowl cleaner splashed up into her eye. Ow, my eye. So we had to rush to the doctors and he came back and called and wanted to know where I was and I told him what happened and I said, you know, we'll do this another day, it's no rush. And I came back and he actually cut it down for me. Uh, so, I mean, I got some awesome neighbors, guys. I'm very blessed. It's, uh, you know, I was happy to do it. And I actually kind of honestly wanted to learn a little bit kind of what he was going to do to keep it from falling a certain direction. Because I got a couple other trees I want to take out that I don't want hurting some infrastructure. But, man, I came back. I mean, after a stressful day of going to the doctor, my wife's fine, by the way. Um, I mean, she's still in some pain. She's got some medicated eye drops that they said, uh, luckily it didn't, they don't think it burnt her cornea, uh, but it's definitely irritated. So she's got like a week of recovery. So, but she's, she's doing good. It's time now for me to chop this up into pieces so I can use it in my barbecue pit and to store it. Cause I mean, I don't want to leave it here. It's actually fallen a little bit onto some of my beds here that um, I'm going to be trying to use pretty soon here. So I need to need to get this out. So I'll bring you guys along. I've only got a saw, hand saw. I don't have a chainsaw. Uh, at least not one big enough. I got a little mini chainsaw, but that's not big enough. We'll get to that. I'm going to chop this up. Of course, it's a long process, so you probably won't see it all, but that's what I'm doing now. And then I'm going to process this into firewood. So unfortunately, this is all I got. Um, it's a little starting to be rusted. Um, I left it out a couple days and that was the end of that, but it's going to take a while uh, to do all this. Actually, very nice of him. He did start cutting some of them into pieces. Now, I think they're a little long for my barbecue pit, so I'm going to probably cut those in half, but that helped a lot. Um, but I don't want them any longer than like this because they, they need to fit in that little smoker section of my barbecue pit. So I'm going to just start cutting. Watch. Obviously, it takes a while. It's almost makes me feel like going and spending the money for a chainsaw. But they're like 400 and something bucks. I don't have that right now. I could put it on credit, but not really what I want to do. But I tell you, 
It's gonna take a long time at this rate. This is just not cutting it. Quite literally. It's slow and a lot of work. I attached this camera to the tree. Now I can't get it off. There we go. I need to take the gloves off. All right. I'm gonna reevaluate this. So I'm looking at this. Here's that bed and it extends out to right there. All this is cut, this is easy, I mean, sort of cut, I need to cut it even more, but my little mini chainsaw can do all that. These big pieces here, those need a big chainsaw, they really do, I'm, I'm not gonna do this. I'm old, my joints are hurting, so. So I think I can leave this and then I can come back. And probably in the next little bit, I gotta take this one down and then I plan on taking that weird bush thing, I don't even know what kind of, and there's another one there, I'm gonna take all these down and that's going to open all this up. Uh, here's my peach trees here. And I plan on putting some apple. And I can line, you know, peach and apple and pear and plum and, you know, all the different fruit trees right along here. See? Okay. So no red center. And it's a lighter wood. The other is this, I'm pretty sure, is not. And I can also tell by, like, the real thinness, uh, like the smoothness of this. Now granted, the bark's peeled off, but even underneath the bark peeling off of the mesquite, you've got, here's a piece, you can see it's not as smooth. It's got like, because we get these bugs that bore holes into it. Um, this piece actually is mesquite, now I'm gonna keep that one. Here's another example of a mesquite, and you can see these holes right there. There's a hole, and so, I know that's mesquite. This is definitely not. And I have no clue with something that small. Mesquite. I see the holes being bored. And I see the bright orange, reddish wood. It's good mesquite. Same thing here. See that orange wood? And there's a hole. And they're all through. I needed to do this. Really make sure that I've got good barbecue wood. And there's that bug, right here. You can see it walking around. So funny, look at this sawdust. That's from that bug, just boring its way through that mesquite and eating it up. And all these things I have below are junk wood. That's that same kind of tree. And I use it to keep it up off the ground because I don't want my good mesquite to rot, which it, it will. If it's on the ground. I've got my axe. I'm going to actually cut this one down as well. While I'm waiting, it's a little easier to cut down a tree, I think, than to saw each individual section. So, now it takes quite a few swings. This is pretty heavy wood and there's not a long handle axe, but it's all I got. And it's worked. I've cut down things about this size. I probably need to sharpen it, but it's good enough for now. So, this obviously most likely is going to be falling that direction which i don't have anything that way that i'm worried about so let's go ahead and cut a big notch in this side to ensure that it falls that way and then we'll cut a little below that here on this side and get it to fall so yeah All right, that one's down too. So what I'm doing is I'm gathering up all the big pieces here. I'm not gonna cut these. I'm gonna use them as a base to lay the cut stuff on. These are the larger of them. Over time, those will season, but I mean, they do need to be split at one point. But for now, we're just gonna keep them the way they are. 
some of these would work. I just gotta cut that stuff off, so. It's still too green to just snap off. So, it's kinda heavy, because I got two flat wheels. They're just shredded, no good. They just hit too many thorns, and that was the end of those. Both of them in the back. The front wheels are fine, but. All right, let's see. So, we'll put those down. As a base, we'll get the bigger ones towards the outside here. All right, there we go. Now we got a big long base here to lay, stack up the split wood. Let me get my little mini chainsaw. We'll cut them about that size. Perfect for the barbecue, and I can split those. Let's say same thing, we'll get these short. Well, I ran out of battery. I hadn't had this charged and I can't actually find the charger. So that's it for this thing. Um, until I find the charger somewhere in the house. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get to splitting some of these. We'll start stacking. All right, all this is pretty fresh and green, so this is older stuff that is almost seasoned. So we'll stack this greener, fresher stuff along this row. Oops, missed it with this one. I'll work with the knife though. That's why I like having a bigger knife now out here. All right guys, well, I broke down and got myself a regular chainsaw. This one's a little bigger and it allows me to cut some of these bigger pieces. I've already, I already broke down that long piece. Um, I just, after sawing, my arms hurt, <laughs> my forearms are so sore, I just, I couldn't anymore. So, I, uh, this was only about 150, so the good gas-powered ones are much more expensive. I already had the batteries, because this is, Ryobi is the brand of the electric drill that I've got, so this will work. Let's go ahead and start cutting some of this up. And it works, guys. I mean, it works fine. far better than having to cut all this by hand so and Eli's out here he's gonna help thanks for the help bud you see all these little pieces can you go get the wheelbarrow and start picking up those pieces there and put them in there watch out for this little handsaw so uh, the battery was dead and I found a, a charger hopefully that'll work for it and that's coming in the mail Wednesday, so if I need the smaller one for smaller branches, I'll be able to do that. Well guys, I almost processed this whole log and 
I got some of this done over here. I uh, cut some of those. So I've been really working this thing. Uh, the battery's heating up a little bit, but it's not too bad. Um, nothing that I'm too worried about. And it's cutting through really good. I will say the battery is starting to, it's, it's blinking now as one. So it's saying that it's almost dead. So I'm going to use it up and then we'll charge it and come back. I might not be able to finish this, but that wasn't bad, honestly, for it to, you know, cut all that. Oh, look at this cool spider. It's a big one. Let's get this last one cut. Oh, it's rolling on me. Well, that's it no more battery but i mean even without full power it's still cutting through pretty good so i mean granted it is a new chainsaw blade so let's pull this off make sure i don't cut myself but it is a new sharp chainsaw blade so it's going to cut quicker right now but it's not bad hopefully it lasts a while i mean we did process an entire yeah. almost an entire tree it's not bad i'm kind of liking this thing um i mean is there better options? Probably, but for $150, um, not not too bad. It's a good deal. Is it the best? No. Is it working? Yeah. I mean, honestly, at one point I want to clear all this back, um, and then there's a couple trees I'm going to take down as well. Uh, but for what I need here, I don't need something like, uh, you know, I mean, still makes a really good one. Husqvarna makes a really good one. Um, you know, some really popular brands out there but they're expensive i mean we're talking some of them 600 800 bucks uh you can get them a little less i think there's like 450 and stuff but uh for a gas powered chainsaw um you know you're gonna pay good money and they make some other brands that are electric as well and uh they're all i hear pretty good but i think this is one of the least expensive and for me it worked because i've got the battery already back at it with a new battery A little faster. <laughs> I mean, it's already pre-started. So let's see how fast this one goes with the with the better battery. Not bad. Finally, I got this back to working. I actually spent a couple days here and I actually finished everything. I got all the logs done. They're all stacked. I'll bring you guys over and you can see. Look at all this. It's double width here. And look how much I got. So that's a lot of wood. So I'm going to finish up on the smaller brush stuff with this. Now, I had to take a, a day or two break because I was wearing regular shoes, not boots. I've got boots on now. These are my hiking boots, but they've got a hard bottom. So these spikes... I actually stepped on one. These have big spikes and these are small right here. That's a small one. They they get really long, like, like that long. And it went right through the bottom of my shoe and into my foot and then it got infected. And so I spent a day or two recovering. I'm feeling a lot better now. Uh, my wife's a nurse, so she kind of patched me up, but kind of couldn't come out here for a couple days. I did yesterday, <sighs> it's like a week long process guys. So I did yesterday and um, Got all this taken care of and got it all stacked up. And now, now let's get the little brush stuff. So I'm not gonna deal with any of this. I don't want any of that wood, it's too small. I mean, stuff like that I can use.
So this little thing is handy. It works. And the nice thing about it is that it's one handed. So I can hold a stick and cut it as long as I keep my fingers out of the way. I can really break down a lot of this stuff pretty quickly. It's a lot easier than two handed chainsaw when it comes to little stuff like this, really technically a pruning saw. It's only six inches. And so, I mean, it's not gonna cut through big logs, but I mean, for processing firewood, make short work of it. This thing was only like $60 online, maybe less, maybe 50. It was really inexpensive. It's some random Chinese brand, Tai Talk, T Talk, or something like that. But it works, guys, it works. And I've abused this thing. I mean, I've used quite a bit. And it keeps kicking. I did fell a tree with it, um, a small one, but I did. There we go. I think that's about all I'm gonna do. I don't need anything more than this. I mean, I've already got more barbecue wood than I know what to do with. So all this is gonna go into the burn pile over here, call it quits. Next, I'm gonna have to fell a couple of these trees, like that one there, it's all split. It's all beat up, that's another mesquite. I'm gonna keep that one, I think, but there's one in the back that got hit by lightning, this one, and it's dead. And it's got a big burn gash right through the center. So uh, I will be taking this down, this big bushy thing. My dog's out here on the run, but, and then these two little ones. And then I was talking about the thorns. See those things? They're just, they're nasty. I am done. I have completely processed two trees. One real big one too. So got the barbecue wood for at least a year, maybe two. I'm pretty happy about that. So, and then I've also got this as well. This is all from that tree too. These are just pieces I didn't really process small enough. I mean, I'll just let those go and then I can just use my little saw and process those smaller if I need. It was a big job. I still got to move some of the brush over to my burn pile. Get that stacked up. I'm not going to do it right now. I've got other things i got to get done. And I'm going to put down below a link to each of those chainsaws that I use. One is straight from Home Depot. I think you can get it on Amazon as well for a pretty decent deal also. And then the other one uh, is from Amazon. So I'll link to both of those if you guys are interested. They work well. I mean, this little mini handsaw I have used a lot. And the battery lasts quite a while. I mean, considering. Let's see, where are we at? We still got almost full, we've got full charge still after all that. So it does last a while. It's a good saw guys. And like I said, I've used it a lot. I actually was able to chop down a tree. I processed a lot of wood with it. And I also, for my barbecue, sometimes if I have ones that are a little too big, I keep this nearby and I just boom, real quick. And then I can split the wood into sizes that I need. So I've been doing that too, because I originally cut a lot of these way too long for my barbecue pit. And so this has been really handy. Thanks for watching everyone. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.